Next we'll look at the teres minor muscle. It is a very minor muscle and you can see that it arises from the back of the scapula. It has a small area of attachment here just underneath the infraspinatus which overlies part of the muscle. So the muscle runs in under there. It runs laterally over the outside of the scapula and attaches to the back and the side of the humerus. The function of this muscle when it contracts is to stabilize the head of the humerus and also it very weakly externally rotates the upper arm. This does become activated quite often and you find trigger points and when you have a trigger point which occurs just here you can see just at the lateral border of the scapula where it runs over the glenohumeral joint just at this area that's where your trigger occurs. When it's turned on the pain is felt mainly over the lateral upper arm and radiates down a little bit into the upper arm over the lateral aspect. It's a deep achy pain. Sometimes, and this is not that common, but it certainly can occur, people describe this strange uncomfortable feeling, not quite the same as the ache that you feel over the lateral shoulder, a kind of burny feeling over the fourth and fifth fingers on that side. So when trigger points are activated in the muscle itself, it tightens and therefore internal rotation of the arm or adduction moving the arm across the body are slightly restricted.